The program will begin in five minutes. Las pantallas para determinar el canal receptor para su idioma. Gracias. 신사 숙녀 여러분, 전체 회의는 담원으로 동시 통역을 제공하고 있습니다. Australia. Austria. Estonia. Kingdom of Eswatini. Ethiopia. Fiji. Indonesia Slovenia Solomon Islands South Africa Zimbabwe here in space, it's very clear how interconnected we all are. We all share the same home in the solar system. We're all neighbors, so let's discover new horizons. We had 15 minutes in space, and he's committing us to go to the moon. <laughs> I was a young lieutenant in uh, Germany, and uh, yeah, sure, we're going to go to the moon. Eight years and two months later, we did it, and uh, it was amazing. You can imagine the feelings that we had and the, the disappointment. But Mission Control said, stand by, guys. We're working on it. And it took them four hours to realize what the problem was, uh, to work around the problem that we had, to get us back down to two systems that gave us redundancy to bring us back home. So they gave us a go for landing. And we circled back around the moon. Mattingly uh, did his maneuver. We came around and John and I started our descent. That was the last revolution that we had before, so that we could land. The moon was slowly rotating out of, our, out of our position, out from under us, and we had only enough cross range to make it back to our landing site on that revolution. I will never forget it. I will never forget how excited I was. It was 1991 and I was headed to a summer camp. This was a camp where we actually flew from my hometown of San Diego, California to Phoenix, there you go, 
to Phoenix, Arizona, and then drove into the mountains. I was 17 and I was so excited. This is what he knew. He was the camp director that waited to greet our buses. He knew I was coming. He knew my name, age, and that I wore three prosthetic limbs, two on my arms and one leg. This is what he knew. So we arrived to the camp, bursting with energy, all these teenagers, including me. The doors of the bus fly open, and I feel the sting of the Arizona heat. And I started walking off the bus, and I saw the camp director, it said so right on his name tag. And I saw him walk toward me, and he looked me up and down, and saw my two prosthetic hooks and one prosthetic leg, prosthetic leg, and he looked me square in the eye, and he said, I wish you weren't here. Whoa. I wish you weren't here. And I was shocked. I felt my skin turn warm and my face became flush. I didn't know how to respond. But he continued. This is a rugged campsite. You might get hurt. You may need a lot of help. Well, we're not here to babysit you. Oh, wow. What he didn't know was that I was already a tough young man. A birth defect gave me that disability. I had no need to be babysat, and I wasn't gonna sue if I got hurt. And that three months earlier, I had attended another camp called Ryla, Rotary Youth Institute. It's good and must be a focus of what we do. Let's ask ourselves if we're being inclusive. Are we reaching to all communities? Are our meetings and activities fully accessible? Quite simply, in my club, does everyone look like me, talk like me, think like me? If so, that's not good. Be actively inclusive in your clubs meetings and activities. Be intentional about it. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome to the stage our Rotary International President and Partner, Shaker and Rashi Netta. sea of people, the movers and shakers of Rotary. Rotary is taking big strides in basic education and literacy. During the pandemic, through the e-learning program, we brought education to the homes of millions. Rotary excels in positive peace through its service activities. We also took a stand for peace, expressing solidarity with the people of Ukraine. I'm Dr. Olga Palichuk. I live and work in the central Ukraine, not far from our capital city of Kyiv. Wow. It was really a long journey getting here. First by bus to the border of Poland and then across the border and taking a long flight. But all the efforts are worth it. As we see in Ukraine, to see a friend no road is too long. No. When the war against my country began ravaging our families and communities, you, my fellow Rotary members around the world, 
brain into action. You have not only donated and shipped medical supplies and other daily essentials to those of us inside Ukraine, <coughs> but also provide shelters to those who have fled. Your help has saved lives. As a surgeon, I'm used to major medical emergencies, but preventable tragedies caused by this unprovoked war fill me the anger and sadness. Members of my own family are supporting me through this difficult time. Uh, I inspired my uh, delimited spirit from my parents, who are also doctors. My trip here enables me to reunite with my 21-old son, Pablo. The biggest gift we are given is to change a life, to make a difference in the circle of life to reach out with our hand, heart and soul. So the magic will begin to happen as the wheel begins to grow. Let's keep turning the wheel together so all humanity thrives. We have the power and the magic to serve, to change lives. Thank you, namaste. I decided it was time to do more. I made a partnership project with Centro Socioeducativo Mocinha Magalhães to support the private young girls who were in a youth detention center. I wanted to give these girls three precious things. Self-esteem, a sense of social responsibility, and professional training. I named the project Align the future. We started the project with a sewing course where they learned the basics. The girls also received instructions about the job market, self-care, and even makeup. 
giving them professional training to facilitate their reintegration into society. We offer lectures about the fight against domestic violence and also focus on suicide and breast cancer prevention. This vital program will offer job opportunities and key support after their release. So you see, we offer them knowledge that will take them forward in their lives. Every moment I spend with these girls is magical. That I will carry out my duties to the very best of my abilities and with every fibre of my being. We need to listen to new Rotary members just as keenly and with immense respect as those with many years of membership. Now, more than ever in our shared history, we need to be good to one another.